My hair's never looked this good. Oh my god, I feel pretty. Decided I'm only going to do my tinted sunscreen because I get so sweaty for MMA that by the time I get home, my skincare is supposed to be washed off because my face is like drenched in sweat. I'm just gonna do my tinted sunscreen and then right after the shower, I'm gonna start doing my own skincare. Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday and I have training at 10 and my boyfriend has training at 9. I posted a TikTok vlog yesterday from Monday morning and I love it. It was my first day back at the dojo. I don't even know what to call it. The gym, the dojo. I worked on some Muay Thai, hit the pads, and some Taekwondo kicks. Feet too. Okay. I'm obsessed with these girls right now. I can't get over them. Hey guys, first off, I want to thank Typology for sponsoring today's portion of the video. Basically a brand made in France. We're going to talk a little bit about it. Throughout this vlog that you're about to watch, you're going to see me do my skincare with Typology. And I'm going to give you guys my personal experience with it. So after weeks of primarily using Typology's product, never felt irritated, had any major brack can't speak my skin has never felt irritated had any major breakouts showed any signs of redness it made my skin feel safe and fresh especially after switching from my normal skincare routine anyways i'm gonna walk you guys through my am and pm routine so for the morning i start off with these products first i do the vitamin c 11 percent also one of my favorite parts about typology is that it literally has the benefits in the bag and when to use it it's a face serum and you apply two to three drops on the face at am and pm so this you can use for the morning and at night and that is what i use it for this is my first step of my routine obviously the benefits of vitamin c is to brighten up your skin tone what else do i got i also use magnifying and anti-blemish serum for the fourth week of your cycle every morning apply three to four drops onto the face before your usual face care so this is right after my vitamin c serum then i go on with my hydrating serum for the third week of your cycle every morning apply three to four drops on the face before your usual face care so this would be my third step in my routine this helps with hydrating my face especially in the morning after being asleep all night with my fan on because my face gets so dry at night and then lastly another hydrating serum but this serum is a hydrating and soothing serum and for the first week of your cycle starting on the first day of your period every morning apply three to four drops on the face before your usual face care routine these are my main skincare products for the morning and then i top it off with an spf moisturizer and this hydrant moisturizer with zinc pca four percent with bamboo extract so first i do all my serums my spf and then this final face moisturizer to add a little extra moisture to my face now at night i use this cleansing gel this is the pha five percent aloe vera cleansing gel it's an exfoliating cleansing gel and i use this at the end of my day especially for my night routine to cleanse all of the day that went on my face apply a small amount onto damp skin while massaging it on your face then rinse avoid contact with eyes in case of contact rinse thoroughly with clean water i can't get over how the instructions are all on the back so it does really help if you're starting off and you're not going to remember what every product is for this is my second step to my night skincare routine this serum's main benefit is for acne it targets blemishes i apply a drop on each imperfection at night only then i go on with my next serum which is also for the evening only the glow and bounce face serum Serum. The second week of your cycle, every evening, apply three to four drops onto the face before your usual face care. Shake before use. Then I go in with this Zinc PCA 2% moisturizer. I add a lot of this because especially at night, I want my face to be super coated with all my serums and all my skincare. Because when you're sleeping, you don't want to, you don't want your face to dry up. And lastly, my favorite product, which is the purifying night face oil. Apply a few drops to your face at night. Add as the last step of your skincare routine. So right after my moisturizer, I just add this. I've been using Typology skincare routine for a couple weeks now if you see my tiktoks and my vlogs lately you know that i've mentioned this before and see me using it in my videos i was recommended to take the test from typology and it matches you with products specifically for your skin the skin diagnosis really makes it easy for anyone who's just starting out on skincare or anyone who doesn't know a specific routine to follow now the best part about this product is the clean ingredient the reason that i know that i'm putting clean ingredients on my skin from typology is because all typology products are 100 made in france which means the eu bans over 1300 ingredients in skincare products versus a significantly smaller band list in the u.s i know that's right typology even goes as far as to blacklist additional ingredients that could be harmful to humans or the environment just went over my am and pm routine but my three favorite products that i love using the most is the vitamin c purifying night face oil and the aloe vera cleansing gel the aloe vera cleansing gel doesn't have that like overwhelming of a fragrance but it smells so good and i do love rubbing like actual aloe gel from the plant on my face once in a while for like acne scars or all that so the fact that this is an aloe vera cleansing face wash and it's 
smells amazing. Like it smells literally like actual aloe. The vitamin C really does make my face in the morning feel a lot more brightened. And like I said, for my night routine, I want to coat my face as much as I can with as much product that I need at night because I want my skin to absorb it while I'm sleeping. So having a purifying night skin oil to top off all of my skincare routine and not have this in the morning and mainly have it at night because it makes my skin look oily, but it's obviously good to have my skin coated with hydrating products so that my face doesn't dry up in the morning. Now remember, I already had a disciplined skincare routine prior to using Typology, so seeing like any drastic changes into my skin is low-key unlikely. However, I can say that Typology 100% did maintain my skin results from my previous skin. I definitely do recommend giving Typology a shot, whether you're starting on your skincare journey and don't know where to start, or want to make it easy for you to know what routine your skin needs by taking their test. Answer their test questions and it'll get you started on your new skincare routine. Thank you again Typology for sending me your skincare products and really caring about the product in general. When I was talking to them, it really seemed like they wanted my honest opinion. They wanted me to try it out before I made a review on it. Constantly talking about how much they care about giving a product out that has only clean ingredients and works for all types of skincare and really trying to figure out everybody's individual skincare instead of just like putting out a product that's just one type. So I really do love and trust this brand. Now let's get back to the video. So my parents got the cats this toy from Amazon and not only is it their favorite toy, but it's me and my boyfriend's most annoying toy of theirs. Every time they touch it, it just makes that noise. And yeah, I completely forget that I have Muay Thai shorts. I wear these, I get these brands on Amazon. I don't know if this color's gonna go. I think it does, yeah. It's cute. Oh yeah, that works. I think I might change the shirt option then. I don't think black's gonna really go with this. Do we think so? Nah, maybe like a different color. Pretty sure we're going with this. Burgundy one or burgundy brown? I don't know. Oh yeah, I think that works the most. Not the best, but the most, just because like it really goes with the uh, top a little bit. So gotta get ready for MMA. 8:30. We have to leave in like 10 minutes. I don't want to get my hair in, like horrible. It's so freaking cute. I don't know how to do my hair today. Don't want it in a ponytail. I don't want it in a braid. So I might just do a bun. I have no idea. Just look at it. Like, oh. come on. I already have volume in my hair, but the fact that it has curls now is like, makes me look insane. This punk, sweet cinnamon pumpkin bath the body works like body spray for almost like three or four years I don't remember I savor this hoe like I love specifically only the bath and body works like body spray I have yet to smell anything else or like see anything in stores that are like similar to this but I used to buy bath and body works everything now I don't really anymore but if I'm ever gonna go the only thing I would ever get is their body spray What's up guys? I know I didn't really like say hi to you guys in the beginning of this vlog I just kind of wanted to get ready quickly so that we can get here early enough for my boyfriend to have enough time to stretch and all that He has training at 9 and we got here like a good 5 minutes early so that he has time to like stretch and put his wraps on and all that I have training at 10 so I can take my sweet ass time mm. That's heavenly. Hair is giving, but I am afraid that I'm gonna be sweating this all down. Or when I put a ponytail on, that it's just gonna go away. But today's Tuesday, and the main agenda for today, going grocery shopping. We're gonna be restocking jars and containers that have been empty for a while. Whether it's cleaning stuff, food stuff, pantry stuff, fridge stuff. We also gotta clean the fridge. I really do need to deep clean that fridge. We're also going to Trader's. I called earlier to see if they have any of the fall or pumpkin stuff available, and he said that they have 75% of their stuff in stock. That's exciting. So the main topic of today is that we're gonna restock go grocery shopping, have a Trader Joe's haul, clean up a little bit. I'm gonna go watch my boyfriend train, cause that's always fun. And I'll see you guys when I'm training. It's actually not that bad of weather for today. Hi, boys. how are you? Hi. Yeah, 
What you said didn't sound right Riding around trying to get my mind right Got me wondering if the time's right Got me questioning if you still feel the same We just needed a breather I know in my heart that I need you It's always gonna feel like we drifting But I don't want no distance between us Like it's Easter, I can give you everything I got in the taper. Lining up the edges, cause you know it's getting better. And you know I'm feeling wetter when the weather's spitting feathers. Keep it buck fitty, yeah, man, I'm feeling better. Yeah, 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 man, I'm feeling better. Okay, folks, I took a shower and the curl surprisingly stayed in. I put it in a bun, tried my hardest not to have my hair touch like my sweaty ass back, and I wore a t shirt, but it was very frizzy, so I'm putting like a lot more oil. And I'm about to do my skincare, and then after the skincare, we're gonna go to Traders and Costco. I don't know which one we should go to first, it really depends on like what's close to us. Like I said, we are in deep need of like a restock, so my hair looks so cute though. This is like much better than like my really all over the place hair okay now that we took a shower like i said earlier we're gonna do my skincare my eyebrows came off if y'all can like get a better recommendation for like a spf little sunscreen powder that's not making me look like a ghost even though that is with theme please let me know in the comments i would love one my lashes look so good they're lifted and tinted so these are like my natural oh, there goes the brown these are like my natural lashes i'm gonna look at soccer Papa's just taking a shower so I can give you some pets while we're home. Did you miss us? Oh, I know you did, Mama Sita. I know, did you miss us? Over here, it was a little bit more messy, but I made it a lot better. I had the wires for the LED lights over here, and it just made it look so messy. So now I have it like back here, which is much better. I love it back here more because then it's a lot more clean. You can't even see it, and I can finally like film here without having to worry about the wires here. I also did move the Google Duo over there. Is it called the Google Duo? The, the uh, hub or whatever? I put it there where it used to be, and I ended up using this pumpkin candle holder to just hold like my utensils which i love a lot more over there so yeah we got all of this put together it's 10 times better i'm wearing some what is this white fox little 
oversized boyfriend jeans with a cute little gray top that I got off of Amazon. My fanny, also from Amazon. And a cute little gray headband to match in my tank top. Totally planned, but. And I got my tumbler. Everybody always asks me where I get my tumbler from. I have it on my Amazon storefront as well. It's the simple, it's the Simply Modern, and I 100 times recommend this more than the Stanley. Now we're going grocery shopping. I said that like five times, but let's get going. I feel pretty as hell today. I got a cramp. <laughs> Thank you. What? A straw? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, my boyfriend is a reckless driver. So I got a grande caramel apple spice. Mm. Basically like apple juice. It's kind of like an apple slice. I just didn't want any coffee today because I had coffee earlier th this morning and it gave me the ick. This morning's coffee gave me the ick because I added vanilla protein instead of oat milk and it was just nasty so i ended up not even drinking it when i really don't want coffee from starbucks grande caramel apple spice ice with the pumpkin cream cold foam no whipped cream caramel apple dull spice pumpkin spice topping and cinnamon powder on the top guys when i say that this is fire my hair looks so like luscious at the same time it looks kind of crazy it's so good they usually you put vanilla cold foam on top but i asked for pumpkin cold foam just because obviously that's better Oh my god, it's perfect. It's like an apple cider with a little bit of like, it's kind of like an apple cider flow. I think I made this last year from my homemade apple cider. I wanna try it. Try to get the juice. The juice, the funny. Mm. Right? Tastes like applesauce, bro. Right? It tastes like an applesauce, but like it's a root beer float. Oh, Chick-fil-A sound good right now. Stop. Mm. All right, cheers. See you when we're at Costco. We're going to Costco first, just cause Costco is like the main thing that we go to bulk on everything. And that has like everything. It has food, cleaning supplies, all of it. And then after we're gonna go to Trader's so that I can like tame myself and not buy everything that I see at Trader's. But while I'm grocery shopping, my boyfriend's gonna clean this car because it's atrocious. It's disgusting. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little embarrassing to say this. I have not cleaned this car in over a couple months now. Yeah. It's been a couple months. <laughs> usually, yeah, usually we are on game with our like cleaning of the car usually we're on top of the game we don't like it getting bad but we've let it get so bad so, okay my arm's getting tired holding this camera so i'll see you when we're at costco I should be making dinner at this point. Thank God I made um, dinner yesterday, so we just gotta warm everything up. I'm gonna put all the Costco stuff away into a Trader Joe's haul. haul of everything I got from Costco before I show you guys the Trader's haul. So I got some Honeycrisp apples. I was gonna make apple cider with them, but I, you know, I caved and I just decided to get a whole gallon from Costco. So I got that. Got some breakfast chicken sausages. These are my absolute favorite. I, ha I devour these all the time. Got some sheer moisture shampoo, some oat milk, English muffins, restocked on the cat's cat food, onions, lemons, limes, Potatoes, some um, tortilla chips, canned tomatoes, sachichas, meaning sausages, some oranges. These are a lot of oranges. Kimchi, 
blackberries, tomatoes, butter, uh, free range eggs, and some mussels. Oh yeah, and some Chardonnay white wine to make some, to cook it with dinner, and ginger lemon organic kombucha. So now we gotta put all this away. I'm gonna do that off camera so that I can show you guys. Okay, so the kitchen was literally atrocious like a second ago. Like this is the nicest it's been. We're putting some dishes away. We just put some of the stuff in the fridge and the pantry. So far, this is how the fridge is looking. It's not the best, but it's better without this nasty um, old smoothie. It's not even old, it's like a day old. But this is how the fridge is looking so far. We have the apple cider in, our tomatoes in, our blackberries, our lemons, our eggs. What else? We got our limes, our oranges, our apples. And then this pantry is looking mighty fine. I reorganized it off camera and it looks so good. I put the potatoes in there. Um, I reorganized this. The cans used to be down there, but I put them up there. Um, I have these sachi mini, sa mini sachichos in here so we can easily grab them. And everything is just looking so great for the pantry so far. We have some leftover lemons and limes here and some leftover oranges in there. Now it is time for the Trader Joe's little haul. I got so many unnecessary things, but you already know that they're technically necessary. So first up, I wanna talk about these ghosts and bats little crispy potato snacks. I don't remember if they had these last year. I'm pretty sure they did, but I never tried them. I'm really excited to try them. They look so cute in there. Then I finally got some medium dark roast co uh, pumpkin spice coffee grounds. Even though I don't really like using coffee grounds and I don't really drink coffee that much since I've been using the Nespresso and the espresso pods i've been wanting to use my french press lately so i wanted to get some grounds to make for not just me but for, for my boyfriend too i just got some tomato puree some dates with the pits in it i got red tart cherry juice i usually get this at publix but i wanted to get a cheaper one and like stock up on it so i got two of these and this is good for my like natural melatonin to make my little sleepy girl mocktails at night i might make one tonight so i'll probably put up the recipe and show you guys this fall butternut squash pasta I was debating on getting this because I got them last year and I didn't even use them But I wanted to make them with some with the mussels that I bought. Maybe maybe not. You never know Also got some organic ground turkey. What else do we got in here? I got more kombucha surprise my favorite one. I know you guys remember this from last year It's the fall edition one. All right I just fixed the color correction on my camera because it was way too orange in here. Then I got some low-fat cottage cheese some shredded cheese. This is my favorite one, by the way. It's like a blend. It has like a bunch of them all shredded in one bag. Then I got some mint also for my sleepy girl mocktail that I'm gonna do. I've had these before and they are the best things in the world. It's like spinach tortellini pasta. 
It has spinach and ricotta and mozzarella and Parmesan cheese in here. So it's kind of like a three cheese. I love this when I'm like not in the mood to cook and all I got to do is boil. And instead of getting my normal lettuce romaines, I got this. I don't even know what to call it. It's like a large ball. Then I got this pumpkin ale. Pumpkin ale. It's an alcoholic beverage and I never had this one. I had the other one that I bought, which is right here. This is the pumpkin cider, which is like apple cider but it has pumpkin in it as well and it's so good i'm gonna wanted to have this tonight but i think i'm gonna save it for friday so i got one of these and a whole container of these then i got some dark pumpernickel bread which is my favorite bread other than sourdough i got some fresh cilantro roasted pine nut hummus this looks so good wait a minute oh this was from costco because i don't think they sell it in this big at traders but yeah I got some spicy chai tea latte, like the mix, like the powder, so I can make it, make it myself. More cherry tart juice. And lastly, the best snack in the world. If I was going to get something sweet, it had to be this. These are the pumpkin seeds. They're so good. I live by them. I would recommend these to anybody. Like, I ate this whole bag on a road trip and it was horrible. So these are the last things that I got to put away. And then I just got to do the dishes. My hair went from being gorgeous this morning to atrocious. What are they? Excuse it? me. I can open it. Oh. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> oh. oh my god, what did it taste like? Bats too. Um, <gasps> they are chips. Well, Wednesday's gonna her her munching. You wanna try it? Mm. Yeah, I bet. Oh, they have these muscles. I don't know if you can freeze muscles, can you? Like this is the time where I should be eating. <laughs> Thank God I made I pre-made dinner yesterday. I should do this more often when I'm like doing like reset days, but I made a what did I make? What is this pasta? It was like a creamy lemon and garlic pasta, right? With some broccoli yes. and some leftover uh quinoa with ground turkey. What I made yesterday was the pasta and the broccoli, but I had leftover quinoa and turkey from another meal before. So, but this together was Bomb. Bus. Today was hectic, bro. My hair is also a mess, but it's still kind of cute. Not only do my calves hurt, my lower back hurts, my heels, on, the heels on my feet hurt. I don't know how we woke up so early, went to training, did grocery shopping, restocked and cleaned everything, and it took us literally since 1 p.m. It is 8:45. Nine hours of this. Mind you, our home in Trader Joe's and Costco were all completely far apart from each other, so it also was the drive. Nothing was close to each other, so that was the problem. I swear my manager thinks I don't have that much to do and that everything that I do is not time consuming. He does not believe that I don't have a time to breathe. I mean, this is the first time I sat down all day. So Chris, if you're watching this, this is literal proof that this is like almost my everyday life. My brain cannot function words or brands or anything. I cannot read, I cannot, like everything's blurry. I see blurriness. Everything, I have my entire body's in pain. Thank God. God, we did not go grocery shopping hungry. I am finally taking a breath. I like, I was running around back and forth, cleaning, reorganizing, right? Fridge to counter, to the sink, to the dishwasher, to the pantry, everything. And I'm still not done. I have to feed the cat and we had to throw out uh, all those boxes. I didn't even show it. And I also got some pumpkins that I'm gonna put out in the balcony, hopefully, but I can't show it now because it's dark outside. It tastes like a reward. And our complex didn't have that like large little, I like to call it the Sweet Life is Zack and Cody little roller. It's kind of like a suitcase roller or whatever that they have at hotels and if they didn't have that they had the small one and we didn't want to do a double trip because double trips are for wimps we held everything from the costco boxes there's three boxes from two trader joe's bags all the pumpkins and i think another box like another large bag i don't know i don't know how we the both of us did it but it happened it worked we got it upstairs you know what i'm glad we reset it because i have a lot of work to do and i want to enjoy this weekend i have a lot of editing to do i do want to go to bed a little early because we not only did we wake up late i mean because not only did we wake up early Early. See, I'm not. Not only did we wake up. 
early. Oh my god. We did like like multiple training sessions and we have another one tomorrow night. <laughs> I have to wake up early again to film a video. I think I might cancel that. I don't know. My mental health and my body can physically not do it. And I feel like that is okay that if you cannot show up for work or if you cannot show up for something that you said that you would commit to, if only you can listen to your body and your mentality. I feel like I feel like that is not debatable and that is not something to push or pressure or make feel or make feel guilty about. Because it's like if I do it once, this one time, then I'll use that same excuse the next time and keep going and going and going and eventually i'm going to crash and my entire mentality that i took time healing is just gonna collapse and i'm back to square one i don't feel like going to do that again i'm gonna take a breather i'm gonna eat my dinner and we're gonna watch only murderers in the building what episode are we on baby episode nine season two sparring partners ironic because we're going to sparring tomorrow I'm only gonna watch one episode so that we can go to bed early and hopefully and hopefully i can wake up early enough to plan the whole grand deal that I have to do tomorrow. We still have to feed the cats. Like that's another thing. They're probably starving, I feel bad. Smelling all this food and all that. Oh, and I'm get oh, and before I start my night routine, I do want to make my my uh, sleepy girl mocktail. Get some natural melatonin in me and for me to go to bed. Cause even though if I'm tired and I did a lot, I cannot sleep if it was to save my life. I could wake up at 5 a.m. have like five workouts, Grocery shop, run around, drive everywhere, walk everywhere, clean everything, feed everyone, cook. I can have like a whole day packed. I would be tired at that moment and like go for a nap standing up. But once I hit that bed, I'm just not tired anymore. I don't get it. I can take melatonin, I can take my cherry juice and nothing works. My girlfriend Priya suggested that I take magnesium. She said, she, she suggest, I can't speak. She suggested a brand to me on Amazon and I'm gonna try it out soon. I'm gonna try that. Hopefully that that will really work for me more than melatonin I did hear the melatonin is not the best for you, so. All right, let me stop talking. I'm finally taking a break, so let me just enjoy my break. I can't tell you guys how psyched I am for this. This is the Halloween okay. Horror Night. <gasps> Vecna. They have Stranger Things and The Last of Us. If you guys remember, <gasps> My first ever Halloween Horror Nights vlogs, I did, I went the first every year that Stranger Things had a house, a haunted house, and it was, I remember explaining, this was like years ago, like 2020? No, like this was like 2019. And I was just going off about how I loved it. It's such an old vlog, I don't even know if it's up still, but it was so good. And they haven't had a Stranger Things house since. I thought they were gonna do season two and three, but now they're doing it this year, and I am excited. And then I also love The Last of Us. I'm obsessed with the game, I was obsessed with the show and the fact that they have a house I'm ready the best snack my boyfriend gets at me for having this way too much is like crack don't do drugs Alani if you're watching this please send me more because I cannot live a day without these well, I mean I'm taking a break since but when I'm really craving something and I don't want to take anything too much it's literally a small portion of them and they taste so good they like kill my cravings oh my god Here's the tart cherry juice. It's a lot less red than the one that I usually get, but I think it's good. Now time to taste test it. My battery camera is flashing. Cheers. Oh, it's really good. These are the pumpkins I picked up at Traders. I like the color scheme I did. I got like a bluish white, dark green, a light orange, and a darker but like salt, like creamish orange. Uh, the only thing is that Traders was not selling the hay that I bought last year. And that's usually what I like to place my pumpkins. So I'm excited. They're gonna look so cute outside. This is like the first little mini pumpkin patch. I like to have a little pumpkin patch on my balcony, at least like my own at home pumpkin patch. <laughs> I'm getting all of today off of my face. <laughs> Guys, I really hurt my nail. You ever like have your skin kind of pull away from your like acrylic and it like burns under your nail? Like that's what I'm feeling right now. I find my favorite part of the nightly skincare is the night face oil, which I put at night only. It says it in the instructions too. It says to place only at night. At, apply a few drops to your face at night as the last steps of your skincare routine. I forgot to brush my teeth. All right, guys, I'm gonna start heading to bed. I have my sleepy girl mocktail next to my bedside and I got my hair up in my socks. 
keep this curls. I honestly don't know exactly what I'm doing tomorrow yet. All I know is that I have sparring at six, I believe. I don't have sparring. My boyfriend's going to sparring, but I might drop in. I don't know. I might work there or just hit the bags in the back. Hi, Wednesday. You want to see mama do her skincare? Isn't it ironic that my favorite holiday and weather is fall and Halloween and I've been always wanting a black cat and I just realized that she goes with my theme the most. I didn't mention this before, but I'm going to have, I'm going to have a vlog where I'm going to randomly have a fourth cat. No, that cat is not going to be mine. I'll explain this in the beginning of that whatever vlog that will be. I'm not getting a new cat. We are practically babysitting cat sitting or taking care of or watching over their like siblings they and the two twins have the same mom they came from the same cat mom not me i'm the original cat mom but <laughs> moon and doja were in their own litter with this one cat and wednesday was in her own litter the thing is one of the cats that were in moon and doja's litter was adopted by my friend's other friend and his name is blue which is technically their cousin now which is really their sibling blue is a tuxedo looking cat and blue's dad is asking us to watch it for 10 months and he was just making sure that it's okay that he paid for the litter paid for the food litter box all of it and i said literally if i had to do it for free i would i want all the cats in the world I said yes of course and we're gonna take care of him for 10 months because he has to be gone for basketball for a while like overseas or something like that so yeah if you see a random cat in one of my vlogs i will explain it in that video so y'all are not confused but it's not my cat it's not a new cat we're taking care of him for a while so, so hopefully moon can finally have a brother because he's surrounded by two females i'm gonna go to bed i shall see y'all in the next video thank you for coming with me for today's vlog I got two plates in my mouth that's nasty. Bye. Oh, you want